Obviously, from the artwork, you can tell this is Travis Touchdown. I mean, his t-shirt says it, for God's sakes. But beyond that, we don't know much about where this game is going. It isn't explicitly announced as a No More Heroes 3, just a game that includes Travis Touchdown. So it could be a new IP, it could be a spin-off, or it could be a pseudo-sequel. We're not really sure. What I do know, though, is we're looking at the Switch, which means there should be some kind of motion controls. If you played one of the first two No More Heroes games, you know that they love to use motion controls for charging up the beam katana, using grappling moves on stunned enemies, all kinds of really funny, really immature, but really super entertaining uh, gameplay mechanics and features. I can't wait to see how the new graphical graphical upgrade or new resolutions work with this game. And we should hear more. Now, tentatively, there isn't a release date in mind, obviously, because all we have is this picture that you're all looking at as you listen to me right now. But it does look like um, 2017 is the 10th anniversary of the original No More Heroes, and it's not coming out this year. So there may be a a port or something related to hyping up the game this year but the game won't be out this year now it was interesting suda 51 did mention that he's looking at a lot of different options as far as graphics and a lot of art styles and other things go because he's met with a lot of designers and video game artists that are really excited about being involved who are interested so he's got a lot of interest from a lot of different people now i know that he was at pax west or pax prime as some of you may know it this last fall I went, but I did not get lucky enough to see him, but I had some friends that were partying with him on the boat. If you know that reference, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, so he obviously was getting around. He was talking to a lot of people, and there is a big interest. So I am excited to see where this goes, and I will keep you updated as I find out more info. Anyway, thanks for watching. Did you play No More Heroes 1 or 2? What was your favorite um, What was your favorite assassin you had to take down or challenge? And then what feature or what kind of new gameplay aspect would you most want to see in a Nintendo Switch No More Heroes game? Thanks for watching. This is Tyler, aka Grand Lethal 16.